My bad. What's up? What's up? Thanks for tuning into the channel. This is Devin Coates. Um, I'm coming. I'm coming to you with a book review today, and I'll do um, 10x by Grant Cardone. Let me see real quick, actually. It's called the 10x. The 10x rule. The only difference between success and failure. So that's the actual intro. So I'm just doing this book because I've been doing a lot, reading a lot of Grant Cardone. I actually bought Cardone U very recently. And he's somebody that's definitely influenced me over the last few months. And this was actually the first book I read by him that pretty much got me all, all set up and hooked on his content. I've been pretty much consuming it ever since and in the last few months pretty rapidly. Um, the biggest thing about this book, it's all about goal setting. And he basically makes um, a statement that the reason why people are lazy or demotivated and don't achieve the things they want in their life is because their goals are too small. They set their goals too small. And there's two purpose, like points of this. One is that they don't have the correct 10x mindset. So they have a goal and they think it's going to take... A certain amount of action to reach that goal because you've underestimated the amount of action to that is going to be needed to reach that goal when you do the little bit of action that you're going to do and you don't reach it you basically become demotivated and don't want to do anything so for example i think he uses this in the book it's like if you're training Every day with two hands to do a three pound bicep curl that when you go to do or 30 pound bicep curl or three pounds, let's do three is easier. Three pound bicep curl with two hands and you practice it every day for like six months and you go to um, the competition the day you have to do it. And for some reason, just as in normal world, the economy will collapse. OK, your, your left arm is spasming since you've only practiced to lift the weight with two arms on three pounds, a spasming arm, now you're not going to be able to lift it because when you actually practice and all the effort that you assumed was going to be needed, you actually don't have the appropriate amount of resources to attain that. Now, if you 10x that and you practiced 30 pounds with two arms, when you got to the three pounds, you could do it one arm because you've done 10 times that. So your one arm is actually five times as strong as the original goal that was set out. So that's his whole thing is that first you want to expand your thinking. Any goal you set, um, anything that you think you want, multiply it by 10 and that is the the goal that you should actually be aiming towards and your original goal will automatically be attained. You don't have to worry because if you're taking action in accordance with 10 times um, what you think would be needed, then unless like you're in some weird other world, that should easily surpass the original goal. And now I've kind of segued into the second part of it. It's a 10x action that you need to be taking massive action. And he talks about it, that average action, he talks about four different levels, but I don't want to get too deep. I mean, you might as well read the book if I get a little very granular. Um, but he definitely separates these like average levels of action. He calls it the most dangerous because you can lull yourself to sleep basically because everybody else is um, acting in that way. You start to feel like it's okay. But when the economy hits, all the average people are affected. So taking that, that level of action is actually not giving you any type of security because the average person isn't secure. So when you're taking that action, you're fooling yourself because the herd is all moving like that and you you feel this um safety within the herd but if the herd is all in an insecure state there actually is no safety in the herd it's just a perception so that's where he's saying that you want to be taking so much more action than everybody else that there's no way but not even everybody else time 10x than your goals so if your goal does land somewhere in a average realm and we can use money say you think fifty thousand dollars would be enough to live on. Well, 10x would be 500,000. Now, if you could get to 500,000, if you could figure out how to live on 50,000, it's not going to be that hard. 
And if you take actions in accordance with that, you will inevitably be secure no matter what happens. Because you've basically given yourself a 9x buffer in between. So those are the two big things that the book is mostly about. It's having a 10x mindset, growing your mind to the possibilities, and um, multiplying all your goals by 10, and then aligning that with 10x action, massive action, that would reach those goals. And um, yeah, and, and it's just basically that the, the massive level of uh, massive action is really the only safe level of action if you're not taking massive action. And uh, you could probably see even with me, it's like, even though my maybe my views aren't getting huge hits from uh, the influx, I've done about, in what I did in seven months, I did 20% of that in one week. Um, and now that's kind of ensuring that I'll hit certain targets that I had before because I wanted to have 100 up by the end of the year. If I keep it up, keep doing this, I'll, I'll have it within 10 months. And I could have streamlined this way quicker if I had this level of action in the beginning. And now it's actually more motivating because I did it yesterday, did it the day before. Now I'm more motivated to keep going. Um, and then the, the last two are kind of similar. He, he make, And I, I don't have full comprehension on exactly what this means. I'm actually in the process of re-listening to 10x, um, he, he speaks about going vertical and going horizontal. So 10x is about going horizontal. He explained a lot in his life about going, he would go very vertical. So that's like going deep. So if um, it had to do with, for example, uh, um, maybe like you could, you could even look at it like maybe in, in a dating realm. Um, and so you can get go into a relationship with somebody you just met and your idea can automatically be to go vertical with them. And not that you shouldn't go vertical, but you should also be going horizontal. So her vertical would be getting very deep in, um, basically focusing on them and get, getting making it really go very deep in that way. But because everybody does have their own mindset, you probably would want to be horizontal to where if they had a change in spirit, something happened where that didn't work out, you had have other things, other opportunities horizontally, which you've been um, investing in, that losing that won't be that big of a deal. Actually, a better example now is like sales. So with your pipeline, um, you don't want to have one deal that you're super invested in that deal only. Like you've only followed up on that deal. You've only built a relationship with that deal. And if that deal falls through, you haven't gone horizontal to the point where you have um, other uh, resources or things that you can go to to improve your situation. So, I mean, I guess in both realms, it's the same. It's, I guess you just don't call it a pipeline when you're talking about kind of more dating. But either way, like you, you want to keep everything vertical because that's where the 10x happens. And then he starts talking about multipliers and adding. Like most people are in the adding mentality. Like I made 50,000 this year. I want to make 60,000 this year. He's more talking about you want to be thinking I made 50,000 this year. I want to make 500,000 next year. I made 500,000. I want to make 5 million. You want to be multiplying the money or multiplying your goals of whatever they're in instead of adding little bits on. And he keeps making this this point where, I mean, I guess I haven't really seen my own massive results, so I can't be a speak to that. But um, as I feel like I am making a shift, it does feel easier to, um, like he always talks about that it's just as easy to be, or it's actually harder to be poor or broke than it is to be rich. It takes more effort thinking to uh play that timing game with your bills, play that timing game with different things um, than it does to just figure out how to make more money. Or it takes more effort to try to add 10,000 to figure out how to multiply by 10 times. And that either way, it's hard. And, and a great um, analogy or way to think about this is if you slept all day and didn't do shit all day, or if you had a jam-packed day for 10 hours, you 10 to 12 hours, you were going hard the whole day. Are you tired at the end of both days? And, I mean, that's a rhetorical question, but in my experience, 
I get just as tired. It's a slightly different tired. It's a more mentally groggy fatigue when I don't do shit. But if you don't do anything all day, you're still tired. So it's not like, it's like you, we've been kind of duped and confused that if you take more action, you're going to burn out. But if you take no action, you're going to burn out. So at the end of the day, if you're going to burn out, why don't you burn out burning down the house? So that's really what how what I've taken from 10x and the way I've uh, gleaned it and put it together and, and put it to use into my into my mind. But um, yeah. So I'll just kind of recap. It's just like having that 10x mindset, 10 multiplying your goals, having that 10x action, multiplying your levels of action. Massive action is the only safe level of action. The reason why you're demotivated and lack the energy to make the certain actions you need to do it because your goals just aren't big enough. They're not exciting you. They can't, they're not waking you up in the morning. And and that's something that I've definitely seen. It's like, you're not going to wake up early if you don't have something really big to do. Um, and you need to go horizontal as opposed to, or you need to go horizontal and vertical, you know, 10x. You got to do it all. You, you don't want just one aspect of life you want all of it you want the whole horizontal and then you want to go horizontal in each facet of life and then go or no, you want to go horizontal in your life and then go vertical in each one of those facets very deep and then you want to be focused on multiplying um not adding and he he has a saying that's not really in the book but he always talks about what he tells his his daughter he's like you learn from one to 100 and then after that you skip to a million so it's not like you don't need to learn how to add all those little numbers up. You need to know the base numbers and what you can multiply numbers with. Then after that, you just want to start getting to the high multipliers, you know. So that's pretty much all I have on uh, this 10x. Um, wanted to just get this up up here and put this up for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I really like the book. It, it's really affected me and I feel like it's 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 helping me mentally just schedule my life and, and take action and just handle the different things in my life that I, I'm feeling like I'm struggling with or dealing with that I or I need to make a shift and I feel like right now personally for me especially with this book and just a lot of other content I'm reading I, I know I mentioned that I spent like 1500 on educational stuff and for me that's a pretty big deal um it's just like this kind of stuff I feel like I'm really starting to make a drastic shift where what I've been focusing on in the past, it, it's going to be a very different um, focus. And a lot of it has to do with just taking this massive action and actually raising my goals to meet my potential and not my current ability. So um, I'll leave you with that, you know. Uh, if you like the content, please click the like button. Uh, click the subscribe button. Leave some content. Uh, comments below um i hope you enjoyed what you heard tune in tomorrow i should have another uh decodes daily dose but until next time peace